A local family is mourning the loss of an eight-year-old girl who died from a syndrome associated with the coronavirus. Yeah, Diara Neely died early Saturday, just days after the initial signs of this condition. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean spoke to the girl's father and some medical experts. And Joe's joining us live from Twin Lakes Academy Elementary while well, Diara was in second grade. Joe, this is a rare condition. It is. According to Diara's father, she died of what's known as multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, uh, or MISC. Now, like COVID-19, it is a new syndrome, and uh, doctors are actually still learning about it. A heartbreaking loss for a Jacksonville family. Eight-year-old Diara Neely, a second grader at Twin Lakes Academy Elementary, died early Saturday morning. She wanted to you know, uplift people and she brightened the room when she walked in. I mean, she's inspired so many people in such a short amount of time. Diara's father said he was shocked to learn that despite testing negative for COVID-19, the virus which spreads it may be to blame for taking his child's life. It's called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. And while it's not entirely known what causes it, the CDC says, quote, we know that many children with MISC had the virus that causes COVID-19 or had been around someone with COVID-19. As the disease develops, the CDC said body parts can become inflamed. Unfortunately, you know, this is a syndrome where, you know, it is pretty pronounced, uh, you know, when the kids have it. Uh, and again, it's thought to be somehow a reaction of the body, some kind of inflammatory reaction, but not really well understood exactly what is mediating it. The CDC saying of the syndrome, quote, we don't know why some children have gotten sick with MISC and others have not. We also do not know if children with certain health conditions are more likely to get MISC. These are among the many questions CDC is working to try to understand. But the warning from Cantor and Neely is precaution. A lot of people are told that COVID-19 doesn't affect children. And so a lot of people, they get lazy with simple sanitary measures you know, like masks and, you know, hand sanitizer, just something simple. And this is not particularly for you, but it's to help not pass that on to anyone else. Now, the family has started a GoFundMe campaign online to help with the medical costs. You can uh, find a link to that on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.